Hey, my name is Ricky, and this is my productive desk setup for YouTube. Let's jump right into it. So this is the current state of my desk setup, and I only use this desk for making YouTube videos. So I like the idea of staying focused while making these YouTube videos and vlogs. Now this is why there's no games on my PC or consoles on this desk setup. And now for me personally, if I can maximize every moment or free time that I do have for productivity, then I'm truly happy. So let's start with the desk. The desk is made from Ikea and I put two desks together recently. Before I had a black tabletop with black legs, that's why there's black legs. It kind of drives my OCD insane with different colored legs and not being all white. So when I go back to Ikea, I'm definitely gonna pick some up. So as I make this video, I slowly realized that a studio is never really done. There's always things that you can tune or add or even personalize to help your studio be more efficient. So I really go by efficiency rather than making this desk setup look cool. I personally think as your studio adapts, it works to your convenience and the more it starts to fit to your style. So by having things at the ready all the time, I'm happy because it works with my time efficiency. So let's get in the meat of this setup. Let's start with the monitor. This is an HP monitor. I had it for some years. The resolution is very nice for color grading. It's not no insane monitor, but it does get the job done. I'll link the exact same one I'm using in the video down below. Now my ideal setup would be multiple monitors for editing, but that's gonna be saved for another video. But for right now, I currently edit on one. If you guys keep up with the channel, you know I love New York City, so I have New York City as a wallpaper to help keep me motivated because that's where I wanna live someday. So the software I use to edit these videos is Adobe Premiere, and I absolutely love it. It's so smooth for editing. Now what makes this process so smooth is my computer. This PC is a CyberPower PC integrated with 16 gigabytes of RAM. My GPU is a AMD Radeon RX 5700. My CPU is a AMD Ryzen 7 3700X 8 core processor, a terabyte of storage, and a 240 SSD drive. Maybe in the future I'll update my RAM, but for right now, editing on this PC is a breeze. So on the left of my PC is a little shelf I made. On the top shelf, you'll see my first camera ever, and it reminds me of why I started making videos. I absolutely love making videos. Now on the middle shelf, you'll see my 10 to 18 millimeter lens for vlogging. Then on the bottom shelf, you'll see my little charging station for my vlogging camera. Like I said, time and efficiency, that's what I love. Now moving on over to the right of my PC is a microphone for doing voiceovers like this. This microphone is a snowball mic from Blue. Now I did put a pop filter over it for the S's and P's. It's not the most high-end microphone, but it does get the job done. Now the keyboard I use is a wired one and it came with the PC. In the future, I do wanna go wireless. It's just a standard keyboard. The keys are very touchy and it glows at night. It helps when you're editing at night. Then I just put a friendly reminder on the keyboard whenever I'm getting distracted by watching YouTube. In between my monitors stands two light tubes. And the reason why I do have these is because when I'm filming my videos, it adds some nice bokeh in the background. So it looks presentable. And I do use these lights when I'm trying to light something as well. The tube lights are multicolored, so you can basically get whatever color you want. Under my PC, you'll find an SD card reader for storing the videos. Now the SD card reader holds up the three cards, a regular SD card, a micro SD card, and a CF card. Just like my keyboard, my mouse is wired as well. Like I mentioned earlier, I do wanna to upgrade to wireless everything, so it looks cleaner and I won't have to deal with wires. But it works, so that's all I care about for right now. This mouse is sensitive and it does have side buttons for going back and forth on the web. And I know you gamers use it for macros. On the side of my mouse, you'll find something homemade that I built. For me, if I can build it rather than pay for it, then I'm happy. So this is an iPhone charger with lightning cable. That way it charges my phone really fast. And if I need to look at notes, it's right here for my convenience. 
I love the aesthetic of build over buy because it just adds your own personality. So same thing for my headphone stand. I use Dr. Dre Beats and I made this at work. It's a two x four with some metal and this thing can hold an elephant. I do wanna upgrade headphones because well, they're wired as well. Plus they're like 97 years old, so it's time to upgrade. Now last but not least is my wall. I think this is the most important piece to my desk setup, honestly. If you made it this far, I hope you don't click off because if you do make YouTube videos yourself, you don't want to miss this. The first thing on my wall is this reminder to work hard. When I'm feeling anxious or down, I look at that. And two simple words help motivate me to keep going. The second thing on my wall is this canvas of New York City, and it's somewhere I want to spend some of my life. And if you have a location where you want to be, hang it up and look at it every day. It's like a vision board. And the last thing is this video checklist. You can pause this video and look at it or even write it down so if you make videos, you don't make the same mistakes along the way. I look at this video checklist every time I make a video and it's helped me. So if you got any questions about this video, feel free to let me know down in the comments down below. And if I do any updates on my desk setup, I'll make more videos like these. I personally love watching these types of videos of other YouTubers setups. So yeah, this is Ricky and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.